everybody and welcome back to another micro battle tutorial Yay! but today is not a normal micro battle tutorial oh no because look at that sub count guys we did it we hit fifty thousand. no no what look at the sub count again what six sixty that's what it says genius ah I think I owe you guys a little bit of an apology basically I was cruising along at forty thousand subscribers for ages and then I released that video and my YouTube channel kind of blew up a little bit <laughs> and I'm really sorry that this is now not really a 50,000 subscriber special it's kind of a 50-ish <laughs> 50 and a bit more just just being genuine for a second 50,000 is a massive number and it blows my mind it really does at the beginning of the year I said to myself by the end of 2020 I want to hit 50,000 so to hit it in August that that's absolutely insane so thank you so much whoa 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 I just realized it's a subscriber special and I'm not wearing my fancy suit. What am I doing? Ah, oh, that is so much better. <laughs> you got to wear the fancy suit if it's a special occasion. So 50,000 subscribers, that's absolutely fantastic. But it did leave me with a little bit of a dilemma. What do I build for 50,000 subscribers? I don't know. So yeah, you guessed it, we're making my face on a door. Now just before you guys go absolutely crazy on me, I just need to say, of course, original idea credit does go to Mr. Minecraft himself, Mumbo Jumbo. But the rest own is gonna be completely different because my face is very different to Mumbo's. So just the idea was taken from Mumbo. So are you ready to see my face as a door? I see no difference <laughs> okay yes there is a little bit of a difference but it's a three by three door i mean what more do you want <laughs> now of course it's not just there for decoration this is actually a functioning door funny enough so of course this is closed click the lever and my face gets torn apart and we have our door i just made a build that tears my own face apart i think i need help <laughs> anyway as you just saw there the door opens very nice and quickly and it's of course it is fairly in sync and then when we close the door again very nice and quick and again nicely in sync i've just realized i've said again too many times again <laughs> now taking a quick look at the redstone you can see it is fairly compact i mean it's not crazy small because it's actually doing quite a lot but it is fairly compact for how fast it is now i'm sure some of you could make this build smaller but i think that would make it quite a lot slower and i wanted to keep it fairly fast But for those of you who think this does not look like my face, one second, I've just got a surprise on my sleeve. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it looks so much worse. Yeah, so I think for most of us, we want to keep it quartz. Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> so yes, you've seen the build and you've seen my face get torn apart. So let's get on with this tutorial. So you can also tear apart my face. This build is getting very disturbing. <laughs> so, this amazing build you need 4 red persons, 27 sticky persons, 17 persons, 13 persons, 17 persons, 16 persons, torches, 1 resident block, 22 resident dust, 7 droppers, 2 hoppers, 5 comparators, 4 rubbish blocks, place not block, you don't mind throwing away, 1 slime block, 8 removal blocks, I'm going to use obsidian, 1 slab, 1 lever, 39 blocks, resident to go on, and then for your door itself, you're going to need 9 blocks, 4 slabs, 3 stairs, and 28 blocks for your decoration. Ah, not the fastest, but come on, let me off. I'm out of practice. <laughs> You know, there's a joke in the rest of the community when everyone says, oh, this build is really easy. Yeah, you'd be fine. Okay, this one isn't too bad, but following the tutorial is going to be quite tricky, okay? Because there's a lot of redstone in a small little area and it's very picky. <laughs> so you're just going to make sure you copy this exactly right. Otherwise, it will break. So firstly, we need to start with a 5x5 five five square like this with the corners missing. And this is, of course, it's going to be our door surround. So our door is actually going to go two blocks behind this because we have the hair basically here excuse me using the green because it's, it's gonna be the color of my hair at the moment <laughs> and our face will go here does that make sense so that'd be our face there and our hair will be here so this basically is the door surround all right so now we need to work on the piston layout so again make sure you're copying me exactly all right so first you place three blocks up like this one two three and on the side of them going down we need one two three sticky pistons 
Now these three sticky pistons are holding a hair, basically. <laughs> now I'll place another sticky piston directly next to this one, a block up, and another one facing downward. Like that. Okay, you with me so far? <laughs> After that, come around the back and place three blocks like this. One, two, three, and three out. Then grab three sticky pistons and place them like this. One, two, and three. So make sure they're not here, but here, in line with this piston. Okay, and we can move these blocks for now. Also, place a block underneath this one, and place another sticky piston going directly toward this one here, like that. Then we need to grab two more sticky pistons, face it upward, like this, one and two. Then come out one, two blocks from the left, or if you're looking toward the front of the door, to the right, and place a sticky piston here. That makes sense so far? Make sure you have it exactly right. <laughs> now, from that piston, place a block behind, and then a regular piston facing toward the left, toward these three pistons here, and remove that block. Now come to this side, place a block, and have a sticky piston here. Off the side of this block, have another sticky piston facing upward, and an observer going toward this sticky piston. Don't ask why yet, you'll know later, okay? And then on the face of this obsidian, cover it up with an immovable block. I'm going to be using obsidian. And we can remove that block there. So regular piston on this side, sticky piston on this side. Got that? Good. Above this regular piston, place a block and place sticky pistons like this. One, two, and three. And we basically want to copy that on this side. But this side, we need to place it on top of the uh, observer. <laughs> so I say obsidian, no, observer, and place three blocks. Sorry. Oh, that's all gone wrong. <laughs> Take two. On this side, on top of this observer, place a block and have the three sticky pistons like this. One, two, and three. And remove that block there. Okay, now we've got to do some proper rest though, not just piston layout. <laughs> So the first part we're going to do is basically the bottom section of a 3x3 three three piston door. That consists of these two pistons here and this one. So this section here, because you can see here, these two blocks here are basically those blocks there. So it just means you can't see through the door. And that works on, it's not a hipster door, but it kind of is. Basically, just the bottom side of a 3x3 three three piston door, okay? And that's what this section is here. So that's what we're going to do first. So we're going to place in two blocks here, one and two. So two of your door blocks. So our first thing is to power this block once to move this block up to here. Now we do that by coming out two blocks from the left, one, two. Remove this one and have an observer coming toward that block. So when I remove that block, you'll see it gets pulsed. Perfect. So that's what we want to happen first. Now, off this face of this observer, place a dropper. Then crouch. So make sure you crouch and place a lever on it like this and flick it on. So make sure it's facing downward. Because next, we need to power this piston here. So, place a block here, so crouch and place the block. Block down, move this block. And from this dropper, we need a repeater on four tick delay. So place it down and press it three times. Place a temporary block up, um, sorry, to the left and one up. Move this one. A torch here, a block, and then a torch here, which should extend this piston. So now we have a two stack. But now we need to power this piston so these move up one more. Now we do that in a very bizarre way. We grab a dropper and place it here. Then we crouch and place a hopper going directly toward that side dropper, like so. So you can see it's going directly toward that dropper. And then have a comparator coming away from that hopper. And in this hopper, not in the dropper, in the hopper, place any old block you don't mind throwing away, hence I'm using dirt. And as you can see, at the moment it is powered because that item is in that hopper being locked by that lever, so that piston is extended. When I flick this lever off, firstly, this block is going to unpower, which is going to unpower this hopper, allowing that block to move back to this dropper, which will obviously turn off the comparator, which will retract this piston, moving that block down to, down to here. And then six ticks later, this piston will retract that block back to here, like this. Perfect, and of course, when we flick the lever on, flicking this lever will lock that hopper, four, four, 
five, six ticks later, that torch will turn on, powering this dropper, moving the item over, and it'll stay in there because that dropper is powered. Does that make sense? <laughs> like this. It's easier to watch. You see? Now we need to get that block down to here. So how do we do that? Well, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> well, we do that with the power of a double piston extender, obviously. So we need to power this piston first. Then we need to power this one to grab it. Retract that one. Retract this one. And then power this one. So that's what we need to do. Okay. So we're going to leave this lever on. And what we're going to do is firstly grab an observer and place it downward off the bottom of this uh, piston here. And two to the right. One and two. And a block here. Okay. That observer going down, two to the right, into a block. On top of this block, facing toward the sky, <laughs> we need a dropper. So the little slot is going upward. Then place another dropper off the side of this piston going directly toward this bottom dropper, like so. So we just made an RS null latch. Off the side of this obsidian, place a sticky piston and place a block of redstone. Now, on this piston, just flick a lever and flick it on, okay? Now, in this dropper, the top dropper, place any old block you don't mind throwing away. Coming away from this dropper here, we need a comparator and a block. So don't worry about it if you're not understanding it. You will understand it in a minute. <laughs> Coming away from this comparator, so facing upward, crouch and place an observer, so the dot going toward the sky, and then have another observer going toward this piston here, like so. <laughs> then grab another observer and place it coming away from this piston. Have a repeater coming away from that dot there on four tick delay and place a block here. And that's it. So when this retracts, okay, we're left with that block there. Then this one will retract because it's going to be looped over and we'll have the four attraction. So how does that work? You may be asking. So when I put this lever, this one goes down and nothing happens. That obviously powers, but it's going to power nothing because that piston is already extended. But when this retracts, this redstone block moves up to here, powering this dropper, moving that item down to here. Then that comparator realizes, it, realizes that and goes, oh, I've got power. <laughs> It'll power this block, which will power this piston. So you can imagine an item going in there, then this one will power. Now, at the same time, when this moves down, this observer detects that, which gives a pulse into this repeater here on four ticks. So after four ticks, it'll power this piston and then retract. And at the same time as that's happening, when this one is moved up, this observer detects that powering, which that observer detects that one powering, so powers. That observer detects that one powering, so powers into this block, which powers obviously this dropper again, moving the item which would be in here back up to the top, obviously, which will turn off that comparator, turning off this block, retracting this piston. At the same time as that, <laughs> this observer detects that comparator turning off. That observer detects that observer turning on, powering this block very briefly, retracting the block. Man, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Basically, this. And that's it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I missed out a piston on the piston layout. I just, something in the back of my mind was screaming at me. <laughs> so basically on top of this piston here, place a block and place another sticky piston like so. And on this side, place a block this side. But instead of placing a block, we need a piece of obsidian. Right? Okay, now it's all good. <laughs> so now we need to connect the dust from this side all over to this side. So we do that by firstly placing a torch here. Now, if your lever is off like mine is, this torch should be off. Place two blocks like this, one and two, and dust going along like this and up. One, two, three, four. Then place another block next to this piston here and dust. One, two, three, and four. A block next to the obsidian. One here and dust on both. One and two. A block on top of this sticky piston here and two blocks to the side. And again, dust on all three. One, two, and three. And now that should be connected. So if I flick the lever, we of course have these blocks extending and all of these go absolutely mad. <laughs> and then flick the lever off and we have that retraction. Perfect. Now our next bit is much easier if we explain it before we actually do the redstone, okay? <laughs> so we need to place two blocks like this, one, two, a top side slab here to make sure you have a gap and then another block here. 
Okay, and now this slab here will basically be our top lip. All right, <laughs> very strange. <laughs> so what the um, this bit of the build is going to do is firstly it's going to power this piston, which is going to do nothing for now because of course this obsidian is here, so it can't get moved. Then an observer is going to get pushed into this piston, which will fire it, moving this piston up to here, then retract. But of course this slab is also going to move, be moved up, meaning we'll have a space here so this, these two blocks can get moved over like this so ready yeah you see that so now we have our top lip but we don't have any cheeks as you can see so then this piston will extend and so will this one so then we'll have our cheeks like that can you see them there and of course we've pushed it over so we can actually have a block here instead of seeing the piston arm hence we have this bizarre shuffling thing going on <laughs> now on the retraction it's actually quite simple this one retracts then these two do like that these two do <laughs> then this uh, piston fires very briefly moving that over then retract which retracts that block and then all we have to do is grab that slab down to here and we do that by powering very briefly this piston and that's it and that's how this bit works so now all we have to do is actually build it <laughs> is actually do the redstone oh fun so this bit is all about order so firstly like we said we need to power this piston here so we do that by placing the obsidian here and then we need basically need a, a piston going toward this obsidian so the easiest way to do that is place a block up here and then place the piston facing downward okay so that piston is actually now powering even though it can't extend so we place a torch off the side which will then obviously power and unpower this uh piston here okay <laughs> now we need to go up here which seems a bit strange but don't worry it makes sense later place a torch here then have a regular piston facing downward and another piece of obsidian and us here. So again, this piston is now actually extended even though it's not. Then a redstone torch here, which should turn off. Block here and one down, remove this one and dust. Now, even though this dust looks like it's going directly toward this piston, it actually isn't. It's actually going in every direction like a normal piece of dust. So that means we can actually place two blocks out like this and take redstone signal strength from that dust into this repeater here on four tick delay so place it down and press it three times so when i flick that lever on that piston will try to extend but can't and at the same time this is going to or this is going to turn off this one's going to turn on this is going to turn on and four ticks later it's going to try and power this piston but before we want to power this piston, we need to extend and retract this piston first. And we do that with a sticky piston, which I forgot to get out. <laughs> so we do that by grabbing a sticky piston and placing it off the side of that obsidian here. And then grabbing an observer and place it like that. So when that torch turns on, it's going to power that piston, which won't do anything, but also power this piston, moving this observer to here, which will fire that piston moving this piston up and then down which will move that slab up which will then allow this piston to move the box over then four ticks later after that happens this piston and this piston will extend via this repeater and of course we need to now wire up that side <laughs> does that make sense <laughs> so we need a four tick delay into this piston so we place a repeater here on two tick delay temporary block here and one here and one out then two repeaters on both on one tick. That's two ticks, three ticks, four ticks. Going into a block, a block out, and one up like that, and dust on both, one and two. So that should be the full extension. You see that there? Now we actually have part of the retraction already done because we had this piston from earlier. And as you can see, it's connected by this dust. So when I flick this lever off and these retract, when these retract, this one will obviously retract, moving that observer down, which will power that piston, moving that block over and then back because it's a sticky piston, leaving a space like this. You see that? Left a space. So all we have to do now is power this piston. And we do that with a very easy monostable circuit. So we place a block here, a repeater on three tick delay. It can actually be on one tick, but I choose it to be on three ticks so the thing is in sync. <laughs> because I'm sad. Then place a block here, one up, and a torch. Then place a dropper, 
off that torch and you can hear it it turned on then have a hopper going directly toward that dropper place any old block you don't mind throwing away in that dropper have a comparator coming away from that hopper and place a block here so when this all turns off after three ticks then this torch will turn on which will send a pulse into that comparator because it will move that item into that hopper and then back into this dropper like this okay so now we actually have a fully working bottom section which is great <laughs> but of course we don't want the lever back here so we're going to move it now and we're going to do that by placing a piece of obsidian underneath that piston in between these two blocks grabbing a regular piston and placing it toward that obsidian like nope like no, like <laughs> wait, I should actually place the piston first, shouldn't I? <laughs> so place the piston there. <laughs> okay. Then place the obsidian. That makes much more sense. And then place a torch here underneath that dropper. And now we can move that lever onto that piston, or if you want, grab a block which is different from all the other blocks and place it like that. So now we have our bottom section all done. I can't believe it. We're nearly finished. Yes! <laughs> Now we need to work on the top section, which is pretty much the opposite of the bottom section, but it's one block back. <laughs> so it's the same system idea down here, but we've got to do it in a different way because we've got all this redstone around and it wouldn't work being that way, okay? So we're going to have to use slime blocks. Now for this section, we're going to place a block here, a slab next to that sticky piston, and a block here. Now we need to to extend downward this slab and this block because that block and that slab are basically that block and that slab so it's the block between the eyes and a part of the forehead so that's what we're going to be doing now now we do that by firstly powering this piston very briefly which obviously moves this piston down and then up again which obviously pushes this slab down but then doesn't retract it leaving a nice space for that piston to then extend and then we have to basically just extend this piston here. Like that. So we have the full extension. Then on the retraction, we need to retract this piston. Then we need to retract this piston. And then we need to grab that slab. So we power this piston up here, moving this slime block down, moving that piston down. Power this block, which takes this uh, slab, which then retracts it. Then we retract this piston, moving that piston back up. And then finally, power that piston again refract the slab so that's basically what we're gonna have to do so firstly we need to find a way to power this piston here now we do that with a piston and an observer so firstly you place a tempe block uh here i don't know why you slime <laughs> and then a slab here on the top side of that block remove that block and have some dust here now on the side of that dust going toward this piston here we need a sticky piston okay and then place and an observer coming away from that sticky piston. So the dot going toward that piston. Now on this block here, we need a repeater on four tick delay going toward that piston and dust. Now that surprisingly is actually the closing all done of this section because this piston will try to extend first, but it can't because that obsidian is there. At the same time, this piston is moving this observer to here, which powers this piston, moving the slime down and then up, moving that piston down and up meaning that this slab then moves to here, but doesn't get retracted. Then that piston can move its block over because there would be a space. And then four ticks later, that piston extends, moving the whole thing down. Like this. Beautiful. Okay, so now we have our full extension. So if we place in all the blocks we need, we'd actually have our face. But of course, we don't have the full retraction just yet because when I flick that lever, this piston is actually going to retract first and it's not going to retract anything. So that block will be left here, as you can see. So we need to find a way to power this piston again. So we do that by placing a block here and having dust, an observer coming away from that dust, and then an observer going toward the middle of our door, and then a decoration block here. When this dust turns off, this observer will detect that, giving a pulse. That observer will detect that observer pulsing, giving a pulse into this block, which will be just in time to pulse this piston again. And we can see that if we place the blocks back like that, we have the extension and we have part of the retraction. See there, 
So now all we have to do is grab that slab back to the top and that's it. So firstly, we need to power this piston here for a little while. So we need to place a piston like this and on top of that dust. And don't worry, even though this dust doesn't look like it's connected, it is. <laughs> then we need to grab an observer and place it facing toward our build. Then place a block next to that observer. Then grab a dropper and face it going toward the sky. And just to make sure, just to make sure, all these are droppers and not dispensers, okay? Just make sure that they are droppers. <laughs> then crouch and place a block here and one up. Remove this middle one and then place another dropper going toward this bottom one like so. Okay? <laughs> then crouch again. Glenn? Crouch again. <laughs> Crouch again and place a block here next to that bottom dropper and have a comparator coming away from that top dropper. Then grab an immovable block, obsidian, <laughs> place it here and then grab a repeater and place it coming away from that comparator toward this um, piston on two tick delay. So place it once and press it once like that. Okay. And then in this bottom dropper, place in your block you don't mind throwing away. Beautiful. Now we need to grab an observer and we need to place it coming away from this dust here, like so. I know that's very strange, but just do it. Then come into this corner here and place another observer facing downward toward this block. Again, very strange, but just do it. <laughs> then a third observer coming away from this observer toward this one, like so, the dot. And then have a repeater here on... Yes, sorry, I was right. <laughs> have a repeater on three tick delay coming away from this observer. So place it down and press it twice. Once, twice. So now on the retraction, when this observer moves down, it'll power this block, moving this item up to here, which is going to power this comparator, of course, which is then two ticks later going to power this piston, moving this line block down and this piston down to here. And at the same time that is happening, this observer is detecting that this dust has turned off. It will give a pulse. That observer will detect, that one gave a pulse, and it will give a pulse, which then after three ticks, this observer will detect, pulsing into this block, which will then pulse this piston, which will grab that slab up to here. But this one will still be extended. So, how do we get around that? Well, we need to turn off this RS null latch. So, we need to crouch, place a block here, have a comparator coming outward, Temporary block here and one up and one to the left. Remove this one. A block here. Dust on this block and a repeater on three tick delay. One, two, three. Going this way into a block. So after this one turns on, after three ticks or four ticks technically, this one then turns off. And that's enough time for it to extend for that one to do its business and then to move back up <laughs> like this. One second. Ready? You see there? So all we've got to do left is to power this piston again. So we need to send a pulse into this slime block here. Come over to this side, place a block, and have a repeater on four tick delay. Place a temporary block here and one up. Remove this one and have a sticky piston facing downward. Then an observer facing toward the back. A block in front of that uh, observer there. A block here. And one down. Block here. And an obsidian here. Coming away from this block, we need a repeater on four tick delay. And coming away from this repeater, we need another repeater on three tick delay. Like that. And then dust here. And that surprisingly is everything completely done. Because after this turns off, after four ticks, this repeater will turn off. Unpowering this block. Meaning that this piston will then retract, moving the observer back which will give a pulse because it's been moved into this block. And after seven ticks, this dust will turn on, powering the slime block, which will then do the final retraction. So that's the extension. And there we are, that is the retraction. Beautiful. So now we need to place in all of the blocks for decoration. And that is it. Now this bit is miles easier if you close the door. So we need to place a stair like that going toward the right, one here going toward the left, see where it's going, a block here and a block here, Ooh, we have our face. <laughs> In this corner, have a stair going into the corner and two slabs like that, come around the back and place a block here 
and here. And there we are. We have the face. And then I'd like to place some blocks around like this. It doesn't matter what type of block you want. I'm just using black because it then becomes less distracting for the door. But it's completely up to you. And place it up like that. And that's it. We have my face as a door. Oh, sorry. One more block. That was embarrassing. Oh, and of course, all these blocks. Oh, no. Face blocks here like this. And fill it all in like that. And make sure this is obsidian here. And then just place any old block here, which is movable. Hence, I'm using that black concrete again. But it doesn't matter. Beautiful. Now, I know I'm going to be asked how to add pressure plates to this. So I'm going to show you now. So firstly, remove that lever. Place a block here, one down. Move this one and have a repeater going toward that block. So our input block. Place a block up like this. And now this is bit is completely up to you. How long do you want the door to be open? So it's, you could do something like this and have a pulse extender this long. That will work. So a comparator going toward that block, a comparator going this way and dust around, or you can make it slightly longer. It's completely up to you. <laughs> but whatever you do, you want to wire this up to a repeater like that or something like that. So just wire it up anywhere with a repeater and then have your dust, something like that, going toward that repeater with your pressure plate. You see that opens for a good length of time. That's actually quite nice, actually, that amount. I would use that personally. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Because it gives you time to walk through. And then eventually... Bang, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> now, of course, you may not like comparators. That's why you're removing it. <laughs> you may want a T-flip-flop. So how do you do that, you ask? Well... <laughs>